Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today. As usual, you guys know the deal on this channel, man. We must continue to set the record straight, stop the lies, stop the narratives. And in this video, I wanted to speak briefly about Rasheed Wallace again, man. Uh, real briefly, because Rasheed Wallace, once again, these guys expose themselves as not being consistent and not keeping their integrity, man. And this is why we don't respect these guys. And this is why these guys have no credibility. So Rasheed Wallace uh, is now defending Michael Jordan against J.J. Reddick's comments that the 90s era was watered down. And this is why I say these guys don't make any sense. Now, Rasheed Wallace, now you want to try to have Michael Jordan's back when you were just clowning him a couple months ago, saying that he wasn't a great defensive player and all these other things? This is what I'm saying with these guys. They're clowns, man. And we're going to talk about it briefly in this video, man, briefly. And I want to thank you guys, everyone across the world, everyone across the states has been supporting my channel. Once again, guys, I am truly, truly humbled, man, by all support, guys. We must continue to stand up. Hold these guys to a standard, man. And I want to thank, and I'm going to say, and you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, like I said, man, I wanted to do, to do a brief, brief video on Rasheed Wallace, man, and some of the things that he said in, in defense of Michael Jordan. So, once again, you guys know J.J. Reddick came out a couple of days ago on, on Sha Shaq's podcast. I mean, J.J. Reddick always has something stupid to say. All these podcasts expose these guys. These guys are a bunch of idiots. They never stay consistent. They lack any kind of integrity, no credibility from these guys on these podcasts. They're just talking their emotions. They're not talking any factual stuff, man. Everything is a, an opinion based off of lies and narratives. <clears throat> but we all know what J.J. Reddick said. But I was listening to the Dreamers Pro show. Shout out to my man Charles over there at G Dreamers Pro. And I was listening to a video that he did this morning. And it was talking about how Rasheed Wallace and Bonzi Wells were basically defending the 90s against J.J. Reddick's comments about it being watered down in the expansion era, all of these things, guys. And I did a video on this, and you guys know the deal. J.J. Reddick does not know anything about the history of the NBA. He does not respect the history of the NBA. This is why someone like a Bob Cousy or Jerry West had to come out and check this fool, because he doesn't know the history of the game. He does not. So when you hear J.J. Reddick make these comments, all he does is expose himself. We all get that, right? J.J. Reddick doesn't have a leg to stand on. Who is J.J. Reddick, right? He's a clown. But what bothers me is when a Rasheed Wallace wants to come out and make comments against J.J. Reddick and basically saying that J.J. Reddick is a fool and that he doesn't know what he's talking about and that he doesn't understand where J.J. Reddick would get this from, right? And they talked about, you know, I played in the league and, you know, I played against this guy, that guy, and this guy. And, you know, all these things. And once again, this is where these guys lose me. This is where these guys expose themselves. Or Rashid Wallace, you sound stupid right now. And why should I listen to you? Why should anyone listen to Rashid Wallace? After, just like I said, a month and a half ago, whatever that was, Rashid Wallace and all of his splendor, right? All of his, his wise knowledge from Rashid Wallace, a guy who couldn't even play a game without getting a technical foul. Rashid Wallace, the smart guy that he is, was the one who was coming out talking about Michael Jordan wasn't that great of a defensive player. This is the same Rasheed Wallace, guys. The same Rasheed Wallace that comes out and says, yo, I saw Michael Jordan get cooked out there. I saw Michael Jordan get beat. That's, a, that's the worst analysis I've ever heard in my life for describing or for critiquing Michael Jordan's defensive abilities by saying that he got beat, he got cooked out there by guys. You're telling me all the great defensive players in NBA's history, they never got scored on? They never got quote-unquote cooked? Bill Russell, who many people consider the greatest defensive player of all time, was going against Will Chamberlain, and Will Chamberlain was averaging like 30 points and 20 rebounds against Will Cha against Bill Russell. So that sounds like Bill Russell was getting quote-unquote cooked out there from time to time. What do they always say, guys? Great offense will beat great defense any day. This is why it was so hard to stop Michael Jordan. It didn't matter who he was going against. Great offense will always beat great defense. So when you hear someone like Rasheed Wallace give his expert analysis, right? His professional analysis. I'm an ex-NBA player. I know the game. I'm going to give you some analysis. And Michael Jordan was out there getting cooked. He ain't that great of a defensive player. He sounded stupid. And I did that video, and you guys know the deal. Rasheed Wallace didn't have a leg to stand on when he made those comments. But when we think about him now trying to defend the 90s and to defend Michael Jordan against these weird comments from a J.J. Redick, once again, you have no credibility, Rasheed Wallace, because you were just the same fool a month ago making comments about Michael Jordan on the defensive end and how he wasn't that great of a defensive player. Straight idiotic, because there's no way that you can ever say that Michael Jordan's not one of the greatest defensive players in the history of the game. Those are just the facts. 
Yes, I'm not saying he's the greatest defensive player or a top three defensive player, but there's no way in hell you could ever come to the conclusion that Michael Jordan's not one of the great defensive players in the history of the game. In the history of the game. Those are just the facts, man. The video footage backs it up. The numbers back it up. That's the facts. Rashid Wallace's opinion, his, his expert analysis is way off base. When he says that Michael Jordan's not that great. No, Michael Jordan is great. He's one of the greatest defensive players in the history of the game. But just because he was beat from time to time or guys scored on him, he wasn't a great defensive player? What does that even mean? It makes no sense. Once again, these guys expose themselves because now you want to defend the 90s. You want to defend what uh, uh, Michael Jordan against some of these comments. We don't want to listen to you. I do not respect anything that Rashid Wallace has to say now because, once again, you've exposed yourself as not having any integrity. You've sold your soul. You're inconsistent. These guys flip and flop all over the place, man. If he would have came out and said, I don't believe Michael Jordan's the greatest of all time, that's fine. I have no problem with that. But for you to come out and say that Michael Jordan wasn't that great of a defensive player, all that speaks to is what? You guys not keeping it real, man. You guys lacking the truth, the integrity, the honest facts. You're not here to educate the fans, the people. And this is why I challenge people who watch these guys or listen to these guys' podcasts. They're not educating you. They're literally giving you their narratives and their lies, and their opinions are based off of those narratives and lies. They're not giving you factual opinions based off reality. It's all emotion. So I asked Rashid Wallace, why are you coming out defending Michael Jordan against J.J. Reddick's comments and trying to make it seem like J.J. Reddick is an idiot and all these things, which we know, when you do the same exact thing? You're the one who said that Michael Jordan wasn't a great defensive player. You say he was overrated. All these kinds of things because you've seen Michael Jordan get beat on the basketball court? That doesn't make any sense. I see guys on the defensive end now standing still like statues. I see guys giving no effort on the defensive end in this era. But you want to talk about Michael Jordan wasn't that great of a defensive player? The one thing that cannot be denied about Michael Jordan on the basketball court, whether it's the, the offensive end or the defensive end, was the effort he gave. And when guys like Rasheed Wiles talk about Michael Jordan on the defensive end, once again, they never talk about the effort. They never bring up the word effort. You ever hear these guys talk? They never talk about the effort that these guys gave back in them days. And Rashid Wallace sounds like a complete fool because it almost comes across as he's only defending uh, against J.J. Reddick's comments because he played in the late 90s. So when J.J. Reddick makes those comments about the, the late 90s and Michael Jordan's era being watered down in the expansion era, Rashid Wallace probably took it personal and was like, yo, man, I played in that era too, man. It wasn't watered down. That's the only reason why he probably came out and made these comments. And that's why you sound stupid. Because you're doing the same thing that J.J. Reddick is doing. You've done the same thing. Same thing with Kevin Garnett, right? The J.J. Reddicks, the Gilbert Arenas. A lot of these guys, Draymond Green. I mean, listen to these fools with their podcasts. They never say anything accurate. Nothing accurate. Look on mainstream media. Kendrick Perkins, right? These are all ex-NBA players, guys. They sound stupid when they speak. Jason Williams. Look at, listen to these guys. They're a bunch of clowns. Have you guys listened to the, the broadcast booth? Have you heard some of these guys announce these games? They sound like a bunch of fools. This is why I tell you, do not listen to these guys just because they played in the NBA. They're all over the place, guys. No integrity. Now Rashid Wallace wants to defend against J.J. Reddick's comments and make it seem like J.J. Reddick is an idiot. You're all a bunch of idiots. Rashid Wallace, you're a clown. I asked Rasheed Wallace, does Michael Jordan play good defense? Is Michael Jordan a great defensive player? These guys are a bunch of fools, man. They're not living in reality. And this is why I tell you guys, just because these guys played in the NBA does not mean that they know the history of the game or they respect the history of the game or they're going to give you the honest facts. And for Rasheed Wallace to go at J.J. Reddick for his comments right after you made comments about Michael Jordan that were probably even worse, make no sense. This is why I tell you guys, I don't respect these fools, man. You guys know the deal, man. I catch you guys on the next one.